They were locked in this room for the entire day, but failed to reach an agreement on expanding the General Committee, the highest authority in the Syrian coalition. The opposition is under mounting pressure to reach out to more liberal groups amid Western fears. It's dominated by conservatives and religious groups. We want to be inclusive. We want to add more people. And this is something that the coalition is very serious about. But at the same time, uh, lots of the names that were presented, although we, we believe they are credible, we don't know them. So we're trying to figure out, okay, so who are those personalities? This meeting comes against the backdrop of international efforts to bring the government and the rebels to the negotiating table in Geneva. The opposition says it will only participate if President Bashar al-Assad steps down. But as the opposition is still struggling to reach out to new factions, form a new government and elect a new leader, violence shows no signs of letting up inside Syria. In Qusayr, the Syrian army, backed by hundreds of fighters from Hezbollah, are launching a major offensive to recapture the strategic town. Hezbollah forces and regime forces starting making advances inside the city, and they succeeded in doing so. However, uh, the FSA pushed them back after fierce fighting, so they were able to regain control of the areas that Hezbollah and regime forces took control of. The interim leader of the opposition, Joe Sabra, accused Hezbollah and Iran of waging a war on the Syrian people and called on the rebels to join the fight in Qusayr. The Syrian coalition has always been a loose umbrella of groups and factions with different perspectives and ideologies. But the general sentiment now is that the opposition cannot continue to disagree over how to expand when millions suffer inside Syria. Hashim Ahbara Al-Jazeera, Istanbul.